Hello, Virgos. <clears throat> this is your daily for the second through the third for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. This reading will not resonate for everyone, so I would advise you guys just to take out of it what resonates with you and leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, do not try to make it fit, okay? Let's see what's going on for Virgo. Virgo. Strength. Hmm. A lot of you are standing strong right now. You're feeling in your power, I feel. Um, negativity, I think you're blocking it. Doing things that are not in your higher good, you're blocking it. Okay. It's like you've gained your momentum, I feel. Let's see. Yeah. You're, you're not being held back anymore. You're not fearful. Um, you are, you know, letting go of attachments, letting go of negative behavior, letting go of toxic people, just not being bothered with that right now. Capricorn individual here. Then you have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, a lot of you are moving on. Um, past the situation, past a person, Capricorn, Sagittarius type energy here. And I feel like you're leaving, leaving that person, even leaving the energy behind. A lot of you are, um, have had strong attachments to substances. I feel like you guys are, um, going through a recovery period, pushing through that. Okay. And I think now that you are deciding to let go of certain things, um, it's like now you kind of have to figure out, you know, where do you go from here? Because I, I get the feeling that you guys were used to a certain way of doing things before, um, depending upon certain things, situations, toxicity, people, you know, and it's like you're really trying to see where you go from here. Okay, what's best for you at this point? Taking an introspective view of the world, you're kind of reflecting on the things that you've been through right now and wondering, you know, how could I let this happen for as long as I let this happen? But you guys are detaching from any fears or obsessions with individuals, with substances. Okay. Five of Swords, yeah, and you're fighting to gain to to continue to stand um, in your own truth here, and I feel like it's a struggle every day, but I feel like you guys are doing this, but somebody's not liking this. I don't I don't get that. Um, you know, there's an energy here where somebody's trying to pull you back in, or you're feeling challenged to be pulled back into a situation here, but I see you guys standing strong here for sure. Ace of Cups, loving yourself above all else. Finding the strength within yourself to do what's right for you. Okay. And I feel like, you know, if this is a person, this Capricorn energy, we have Aquarius, Capricorn, Sagittarius, um, Piscean energy here. Okay. Um, maybe Scorpio energy. But I think you guys are struggling um, between like really leaving a person behind and loving yourself. I think you're struggling with that part of it because you know that the situation or this person is not good for you, but um, it's like you don't want to leave them behind. The three of cups there, but you know, you are in search of your own happiness. I feel like you guys are over this situation. Maybe some of you are still there. Um, because I don't really see an ending here, but I feel like you're wanting to detach emotionally from this person. And I feel like a lot of you have already. Okay. And you're wanting to go out and socialize and, and start dating again, doing things that make you feel good here with this cancer energy. Mm, okay. I pulled over two cards. <laughs> Excuse me. We have the King of Coins and we have the Page of Coins here. So with this King of Coins, I feel like um, you guys have been a support system for someone. 
and what what is happening is that they're kicking against you um they're kicking against you detaching from them they feel you pulling away okay you guys have been very supportive for this person committed to them taking care of them maybe even financially here is what I'm getting but now it's like you know you're wanting them to take some responsibility for themselves is what I'm getting here okay and you're pulling back a little bit a lot actually because you're going from the king of coins to the page of coins it's like you've realized something about the situation that you're not happy with okay that you deserve better is what I'm getting from you guys um, and this person you almost you almost look at them as like you know that they're your child in a sense that you are responsible for not only their support but their emotional well-being and, and everything else like you are what keeps them afloat and I feel like you guys are just tired of um, the attachment that you feel with this person you don't feel like it's healthy and you're realizing that now like you want to do the things that make you happy there's something that um, you guys I feel like are learning not only about yourselves but like there's other things out there for me that could enhance my life okay let's see then we have the world you guys wrapping up a cycle here you're completing something there's something that you've learned about yourself and about dealing with other people that um you know it's like th this is over with this attachment with this devil this attachment with people this unhealthy attachment with people letting people like hang on to you or you hang on to them for way too long okay and maybe the fact that they say that they need you or you know they you know they can't really do things without you like they're leaning on you way too much is what I'm feeling and um, but now that you're starting to love yourself it's like you're taking away some of that um, they, they have a level of control they had a level of control but I think with the strength you're breaking that and you're wanting you're wanting them to stand on their own but I get the feeling that a lot of you guys, like I said, do not want to leave this person. Not because you are um, you are stuck there. It's like your heart is telling you here with this Ace of Cups that you don't just want to leave this person out in the cold. But they're kind of hanging on your coattails here. Okay. But I feel like a lot of you guys will wrap up this cycle with this person because you've 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 learned something about yourself you've accomplished something here you've accomplished something here and um, it's time for you to move forward that this and this what this world is telling me is that you know for some of you you're not you're not gonna want to hear this but um, you know with these other cards here this is you going I feel into a new cycle um, doing something different than what you're doing right now okay but I feel like it's gonna be beneficial for you because you're wrapping up something here that has not been good for you okay so this is very good for a lot of you who feel like you're in like relationships where somebody's like you know kind of dragging you down a little bit because they're not really want to stand on their own and they're using the fact that you know they need you or you know they're going to go under financially without you or they need your help in doing this um, you guys are detaching from that you're detaching from that I feel okay so my Virgo friends that's what I have for you guys and I will be speaking with you soon